I'm Liz, and this is Dennis. We're currently on an epic road trip through the Baja California Peninsula and our tiny home on wheels, Dita. The journey thus far has been nothing short of eventful, with tons of highs and lows. But after two weeks and driving 675 miles, we've officially found paradise. This is our home for the next week. Damn, that, that could have been so bad. Oh my God. This is absolutely the best way to start a day. Camarones before cafe. Yes. Subscribe to join us this week as we show you the dreamy side of RV life in Mexico. Pinch me, this feels unreal. The two hour journey to Mulaje took us down Baja California's Highway 1, passing through Cuesta del Infierno, or in English, the Highway to Hell, a notoriously steep, windy, and narrow two mile stretch of road. We got a great spot at this RV park. I'm glad we got here when we did because she said that most of the spots will fill up, so we honestly got to walk around and choose which one we want. We have full services here, electric, water, dump, and they have laundry. We are going to be doing some resetting while we were here, getting lots of work done, but also exploring the city, and we are so excited to take you with us. All right. <laughs> They have vendors come to the RV park to sell us stuff and this guy has some beautifully made rugs. We're gonna buy some for sure. Oh yeah, the black one's nice, honey, yeah, huh? Este, oh, y me gusta este, esto. Si Creo los dos. Esto y el otro. Uh -huh. I'm happy with it. This no, is beautiful. No, I like that one. That's actually, I like the cafe. Mm-hmm. Gracias, amigo. Oh, gracias a ustedes, amigos. Tiene un buen día. Igualmente. Yeah. Mulahe is a super tiny, tiny town. There's not much to do here. But we met up with some friends, Victoria and Craig. They had to come into town for some errands, and we met up for lunch. This was a recommendation from Greg, one of our patrons. He came here on his epic motorcycle Baja trip, and we got all the stuff. I ended up getting their fried scallops, which is a specialty here, and the garlic shrimp. And then Victoria got the... Mm. Scallop Veracruzana. All of it tastes so good. He recommended specifically getting the fried scallops, and I can vouch for their deliciousness. What? Mulahay is a super charming town. The little plaza in the center is covered in Bougainvillea. All of the buildings are really bright and beautiful. The roads are so narrow. It was crazy driving our RV through here to get to our RV park. If you are coming here though, make sure to stock up on some cash because there is no banks and no ATMs in the city. There is a small little like grocery store tienda that you can do cash back from. Other than that, just be prepared for like a small sleepy little town, except for a few cool stops, including the mission at the top. It's also an old museum. The Mulaje Mission, also known as the Mission Santa Rosalia de Mulaje, was founded by Jesuit missionaries in 1705, with the goal of converting the native Cochimi people to Catholicism. The mission was abandoned in 1828, but has since been restored and is now a popular tourist destination. Behind the mission, there's an overlook that provides visitors with an incredible view of the lush and green oasis in the middle of the desert. For thousands of years, this oasis has provided a reliable source of water, attracting a variety of plant and animal life, and has allowed the communities that lived here to thrive despite the harsh, arid climate of Baja California Sur. But we're heading to the beach today. I am so excited. We're gonna leave our little oasis of El Chano RV Park in Mulahe, and we are going to dry camp or boondock on some of Mulahe's beautiful beaches. There are several different beaches for you to choose from, all that offer dry camping for like $10 per night. Playa Santis Pack is the most popular, but it's also the most crowded. So I think we're gonna avoid that and try one of the other beaches in the area. I'm so excited to be going to the beach. Beach, yeah, the weather's beautiful today too. It like, is, finally. I'm in shorts. Woo! This, I mean, this feels cool. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to get it. The rig level here. Look, just look, look at that, look at that. <gasps> <laughs> that could have been so bad. I don't, well, we, would, we definitely would have taken the palapa out, but I would have felt so bad because you've, they've obviously, like, redone the, this particular palapa very recently. Oh, oh my god. Damn, that, was, that could have been so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes when you're RVing, you rock up to a place that blows your mind so hard that you could actually live here for a minute <laughs> in your freaking RV and just enjoy it. And this is one of them spots. If you get every kind of vibe here, epic, just sick. You can't look at it. 
any spot of your 360 degree view except maybe a little bit of trash <laughs> <laughs> over in the corner. This is why you are Vibaja. Yup. Until we got here right now in this very moment, I was kind of poo-pooing on Baja because I was uncomfortable and I was like, this isn't worth it. Like, when's the fun going to start? Where's the, the Baja vibes that I've seen in the pictures online? Here it is. Luis invited Guadalupe. He said, you don't come to Baja and have adventures. You have sagas. And I was like, what the hell does that mean, dude? And then getting here, this has been a saga fruits of our labors. <laughs> we love little private spots like this. The other beaches are absolutely gorgeous, but they are way more popular, so it's just RVs all around. This is like way more our vibe. Super, super chill. Yep. We only have Low three key. neighbors. Yep. This is a dream. A this, dream! This is a dream. It's a paradise. What are you doing? You enjoying yourself? Hmm? Hola! It's like 8 a.m. and someone's already trying to sell us something. I'm not even out of my pajamas yet. I was gonna say this is a dream for waking up. It still is a dream to wake up to. He's gonna do a medio kilo for 150. Sweet. I wanted shrimp, so this is good. You got the goods? Got the goods. <laughs> Nothing like a morning wake up call for camarones. Camarones before cafe. Yes. Hello. Any dolphins today? Well, we were thinking about moving here. Do it. Hi, Princess. I'm not going that way. <laughs> he just wants to go everywhere he knows he's not going to be allowed to go. Uh huh. This is absolutely the best way to start a day. Before my coffee, I've seen four stingrays. Got to get out on the water. We got an inflatable paddleboard used on Facebook Marketplace before we came here because Baja is like a paddler's paradise. This is only one of many spots we will be able to use this beautiful paddleboard. I don't ever want to leave here. This place is pretty perfect. Yeah, this spot is paradise. It is ridiculously hard to work when this is my view, but I'm staying on track with my to-dos with help from Notion, today's video sponsor. Notion is an online productivity tool that allows you to organize information, take notes, manage tasks, complete projects, and so much more. I've been using Notion for nearly two years now and has completely revolutionized my life. I am so much more organized in my personal life and my business because I use Notion for pretty much everything. I can collaborate with my assistant to map out different activities and restaurants we should visit and each of the destinations we travel to. I use it to plan and organize our YouTube videos, safely store our scripts, update the status of the video, as well as keep track of the video sponsorships. I also use it for super basic things that often get lost in the mix, like books people suggest I read, notes for my Spanish lessons, items I need when I'm grocery shopping, or planning our international travels. Notion is super customizable and collaborative, so you can easily tailor its tools to fit you or your team's needs. It also has a massive template library to help you get started. And the best part is it's completely free to join. If you're looking to step up your organization this year, make sure to use the link in the video description below to join Notion for free now. Staying on track with my to-do list, it's time for a workout. I've kind of fallen off of my workout bandwagon over the past few months. But this view has definitely motivated me to get outside and work out. Today I'm gonna to be doing a yoga flow right next to the bay. That was a struggle. <laughs> it didn't look like it was that hard, but man, you hold those poses in. Woo! I was working. Feels good though, feels good.
What do you think? I don't know. It's a little sketchy hanging in the, in the uh, palapa. You definitely can't just like plop down into it. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, look at this this view right here, baby. All right, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> What do we got? Tamales and an empanada <laughs> for 50 pesos. The vendors don't stop. They're pretty relentless all day. You just have random people drive up offering you all sorts of things. Fish, zucchini, carrot bread. We've spent all of our pesos, so we cannot purchase anything else. You're really just gonna take it to the face. I thought we were sharing. It's good. It's like tinga. Hmm. It has tomato and papa and chicken. So we're gonna share with our own friends because <laughs> They've been so kind to us. They shared fish with us. They shared some of our bread. This dude totally would have bit me. Thank God I got my headlamp on. Whoa. He ain't moving, but he's definitely real and he's definitely alive. As much as it breaks my heart, we're leaving today. This spot has been incredible. It's one of those places that every single day you're like, I don't think I wanna leave. Can we just extend one more day? But we are out of pesos. We are out of fresh drinking water and it's time to move on. We met the coolest people here though. It really has been so lovely. A few of the nights we had fires. Last night we spent all night talking and stargazing. And we met a few of our followers. They were so sweet. They gave us this really awesome conch shell and they painted this amazing watercolor. So, so, so sweet. Today's drive is short, thank heavens. It's only about an hour and a half to our next destination. We appreciate you traveling with us. We'll see you next time.